Hello, Cancer. Cancer energy people. So, uh, please excuse any noises you may hear. Stuff happens and life goes on. Um, so this will be from the 24th to the 15th of June. And um, I know that it is past uh, the 24th. Yeah, she wasn't but that don't matter to me. That don't matter. Just know that around this time, this is the energy that you'll be dealing with. Okay? So. Also, tarot readers say sun, moon, uh, rising, and Venus. But they never tell you that you have to look at the whole chart. So if you have a placement that is strongly aspected or you have a stellium in a, uh, a certain sign or whatever, that you'll have energy very strongly mixed um, into that particular sign. So what I'm saying is that your sun sign is not the only sign to look at whenever picking tarot videos. And I think it's good for you to have that knowledge and that information. Even if you don't pick my videos, it is good for you to have clarity on that. So that way you don't just watch one and say, well, this is not me. I don't want... I don't understand it. It's because you have stronger energy in another sign. Okay. So we're going to look at the main energy that you're going to be dealing with. Um, obstacles with that energy. Um, benefits that you can look at. You know, uh, solutions through it. What you can um, expect to get out of the entire ordeal and what you don't see coming what you don't see happening out of the whole the whole shebang and that's um, my favorite part Okay. Cancer energy people. Sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> Some good whiskey. It's not though. You thought it was whiskey? You really thought it was whiskey? <laughs> Actually believe that. Okay. So, there is a situation that you have been dealing with for quite some time. It is one that is emotionally... Okay, this situation has emotionally drained you so much that you... Uh, it no longer drains you, it just it just keeps you in this low state of energy all the time. Um, and you feel like you'll never get out of it. I gotta say, out of all the readings I've done so far, the seven, seven that I've done, this one's the heaviest. This one's got the most hurt. Itchy. This one's got the most hurt attached to it. So, a situation that has sapped you and drained you for so long, that's kept you in a low state of energy, that you don't think that there's any way out of it. There's no other spin I can put on that, you know? It's... Um, I'm going to tell you this, uh, I could say that this is not for a lot of you, um, but whoever is listening to this, I mean, it is, yeah, obviously, I mean, that's how life works. Um, you're dealing with a, uh, a narcissist. You're dealing with someone who is very much in the mind, who is 
their way of feeling is attached to what they can do with their mind. So they feel through endeavors in the mind. Now, and the negative aspect of that is that they use their intelligence to feel more powerful than others, to outsmart them, to trick them, outmaneuver them, and whatever. And it's not to say that you are unintelligent. It's to say that you have emotion. Okay, you have feelings. Now, it's also not to say that this person does not have feelings, but the way that they feel things is, um, how do I put this, uh, fucked up. So, if you're a normal, regular mother person, you're just a regular person, or whatever, let's just say an HSP, a highly sensitive person, you know, either, either way, something happens that touches your heart, whatever, you feel that, you're like, oh, it could be a advertisement on TV with, with sad little animals, and you're like, oh, I feel that, oh, and my little hearty space, right? These people take it apart like, they just want me to feel bad for those animals so they can get my money. And it's, you know, I don't have too much more to go off that, but you get, and hopefully you get what I'm saying. This person is, does not respond to things that would, that would normally incite emotion in a person. This person does not react. Does not, it's, it's very mental energy. And I'll say that outright, like. I want to give you another story. I want to tell you something else other than this, but that's the truth. Like you're dealing with someone who's very overpowering and is very like as mental as it gets, as mental as it gets. And it's not because it's in your obstacles. That means that this is someone who is against you. This is someone who is purposefully doing this and is, um, You could have depression, you could have anxiety, you could be nervous. I mean, and dealing with a person like this, I don't fucking blame you. Like, I don't blame you. It's so, it's all right to feel that way. Like, um, because whoever this is, and you may be making excuses for this person. You may be saying, um, <clears throat> like, they're just going through a rough patch or they'll get better or at least they're not hitting me. Now, they could be, I'm just saying, I don't know your situation. All I'm saying is that um, you're make, you could be making excuses for this person. That's kind of how that relationship works. Um, so, your solution, very interesting, but very true. Your solution through this is to, no matter, and whoever this is for, this is a very serious reading. Normally, I joke around a lot, and um, normally I joke. I joke around and stuff, but whoever this reading is for, it's very serious. So, I'm going to be very serious with you here, okay? This is... This is the advice straight from the universe. If you find yourself in a place where you can choose between two things or multiple, whatever, choose the one that benefits you and makes you happy, regardless now, you have to understand when I said reg regardless of whether it affects this other person that you're dealing with or not. Whether this affects anybody else in your life, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter 
oh, well, I can't do that because that's the way it's always been. Or I can't do that because these people will will look on me in a wrong way. I can't do this. I can't do that because of this. Yada, yada, yada. Doesn't fucking matter. Do it. If it benefits you, do it. Do that thing. Okay? Please. Because you have a combination of cards here that talks about you need to find joy and happiness. You are, you're at a place where you don't have it. Okay? You don't have any of it. You're not in a good place at all. So, when the universe approaches you with things, what you keep saying yes to, you get more of. What you keep saying no to, you get more of. So... If you keep choosing things because you don't want to hurt somebody else or affect somebody else, right? But it hurts you not to do it. You need to switch it up. Change it up. You That's the message straight from the universe. You need to pick you. Excuse me. Ugh. What you can expect out of this is you will evolve as a person. You will level up as a person. You will be much more highly aware of yourself. Of yourself. I would say others, but you already have that part. You will be much more aware of yourself, which is what you're missing. Because you choose everyone else, and you don't choose you. You don't choose you. You. Now, what you don't see coming out of this whole situation, which is my favorite part of this, all of this, is what you don't see coming, is that your ability to be intuitive and get messages straight from the universe itself um, will become much stronger. So if you aren't a spiritual person, which I, you either know, okay, for someone like you, believe me, I know your type. You are either someone who does not know that you are spiritual at all, and you're going through an awakening, which will attune you to that. Or... You know that you're a spiritual person, you know you feel things, you know, and whatever, and you will gain that. You will gain that back and then some, and uh, it will lead you in your life to, to the point of where you won't have to deal with people like that again, or situations like that again. So, just know that there is a way out of this. It's simpler than you... It, on paper, it is simpler than you think. I know enacting it and doing it is very, very difficult. I, I don't know what you're going through. I went through my version of it. I know that it can be hard. But take the smaller steps. Take the smallest steps. And I can't stress this enough. Fuck everyone else. Worry about you. Love you.